is Rachel from All About Plumbers. So if you follow me, you'll know that yellow is definitely not my favorite color. I tend to avoid it. I never really use yellow pens or anything like that. However, I found this planner on clearance. I like the herringbone pattern, so I figured I could just put up with the yellow. So by clearance, I mean like it was a super cheap bargain. You'll never guess how much I paid for it, so I'll just tell you. So I paid four bucks, literally only four bucks for this planner. So it starts in July 2019 and goes through to mid 2020. I'm filming this in mid August. I got it last week. So literally only one month has expired. You can still use day dot stickers anyway. And it was already down to clearance for four bucks. So if you're in Australia, go to Officeworks like one to two months after they release their planners and they're all on clearance. Bargain. So this one is a like sewn bound, glue bound type planner. It's very thin. It's only about, I'd say half a centimeter thick. And most of that would be the covers, like they're pretty thick covers. It does have an elastic band. I just took it off to make it easier to film this video. And I should probably mention the brand is Otto, which is like Officeworks kind of home brand. It's only specific to Officeworks. They have uh, lots of pretty covers, but some kind of basic layouts. With the exception of this one, which is why I got it to show you guys. So first things first, personal information page, some a dates at a glance pages. The columns are quite narrow though, so just keep that in mind. You might want to do some um, color coding. So if you get some colored dot stickers and then a green dot might be a vacation day, a blue dot might be a birthday, that kind of thing, because you're not really going to have much space to write in there. Those columns um, would not even be an inch thick. They're probably about three quarter inch thick. Next, we have the calendar. I love the cursive font paired with this symbol font. It looks really nice. Starts on a Monday, which is consistent with the weekly spreads, which I'll show you in a sec. It is an Australian planner, so it has the Aussie public holidays. It also has New Zealand in there as well. And then if I go to the next page, we have the school terms, also for Australia. And then we have this cute goal planning page. So this kind of reminds me of the Otto Goals Planner. So I did do a review of that one previously. I'll include a link in the description box below. And that planner was completely different. It was also by Otto, however, it was coil bound. It was a large page size and it was really colorful. But the overall um, style is very similar to this with like the font and then the like check boxes and all that kind of stuff. So if you're looking for a detailed goal planner, I recommend the Otto Goals one, which I'll link below. So, at the front here we have some goal planning. I'll let you read those questions. I will have photos linked in the description box below as well. So you've got three goals, some steps to complete. I like this idea, however I think one page per goal would be better because that's not really much room to write any steps out. You probably fit like, what, three words there? Not really enough space. I do quite like this whole thing though. If they just extended that across one whole page per goal, it would be brilliant. So moving on to the monthly task breakdown, love this. So I know most planners just call this important dates or just annual overview and you can do whatever you want with it, but I tend to turn that into like most important tasks and goals for that month. So this one already has it pre-filled for me. So it's got the task and then checkbox, love it, looks nice and simple. And then we go into the weekly spread. So this is the reason that I wanted this planner. It's slightly different to your typical um, horizontal layouts. So you've got a lined writing space for each day, starts on a Monday, which is consistent with those um, annual overview calendars that I showed you just before. Not too sure about this section down here, this exercise in gratitude. It's very small. I'd probably just ignore that or just use some white out and turn it into another um, bit of line writing space to each their own. So we've got um, the five day, five weekdays have a larger space than the Saturday and Sunday. They don't um, extend it down to the full end of the page because they have this little dates at a glance calendar. The reason why they have that, I'm assuming, is because there is no monthly spreads included in this cal uh, planner. It's just got the weekly planners, not any monthly calendar at all. So that is literally your monthly calendar. So if you're someone that likes a monthly overview, this might not be the best planner for you. You might have to use another planner um, in addition to it because this is just weekly spreads. So the other thing that makes it a bit different is this double sidebar. So we've got weekly goals, reminders, notes, and then a checklist as well. So I just liked the different horizontal layer and it was so cheap, I figured I'd grab it. So if you're not in Australia and you don't have access to Officeworks, you could always do this layout for bullet journaling or make a printable. I have some tutorials which I will link below if you're interested. It does have a built-in ribbon bookmark as well. And then at the very back, we have some lined notes pages. I will be doing a pen test, so I'll link that in the description box below. However, for the price tag, um, and given that you can already see some ghosting, I'm not really expecting big things. I um, think there will be some 
ghosting and probably some bleed through for the marker pens as well because it is it feels quite thin paper the back we have some contacts pages which i'm not really sure why planners continued or well, some planners continue to include these because most people i know myself included will just keep this on their phone but you could repurpose this as a password log or just extra list space or just ignore it or you could resize a printable and then put some washi tape and like stick it over the top and then you might get a bit more use out of those pages that way does have a roomy pocket fold at the back unfortunately no stickers come with it but you could always obviously add your own so for four bucks i think that was a pretty good deal as you can see it's not brilliant quality obviously for the price it did get a little bit damaged four bucks can't really complain the usual price of these planners is around about 20 bucks at um, officeworks they have day to a page layouts they've got a traditional or what i call traditional like you know the boring standard horizontal um, two pages per day layout they've got a whole bunch of different covers you can choose from as well but just wait i recommend waiting until they're on clearance and then you can pick up one of these for like four bucks like i did so i hope you found this review helpful i will include that pen test below i did get another planner on clearance from there called the dot diary which is kind of a cross between a horizontal layout and a bullet journal and i'll include the link for that review in the description box below as well